Hi, and welcome to this video lesson about La Camisa Negra by Juanes. In this video, I will show you how to perform the main riff of the song as it has been played on the record, and also, I will give you a few tips that may help you through the learning process. I divided this riff in three parts, and remember to click on the description of this video to see a transcription that I have done for the guitar part. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. The key signature is F minor, and the riff starts with double stops in thirds. Then Juanes is approaching each target note from a semitone below, as I'm going to show you right now. So he's starting from here in double stops, right? So the first notes are in the fourth string, the third fret, right? And in the first fret of the third string. So that's that's how it goes, right? So the rhythm is like that. That's the first bar of the solo. Okay, slowly. Right? And then the next bar is gonna be the same thing, but same but a tone above, okay? Like that. So the notes starting are this is the fifth fret of the fourth string, and this is the third fret of the third string, right? Double stops, I mean something at the same time, right? So he in he's dragging that a semitone above. So that's the second the second bar, okay? The next bar, right? It's gonna be like this one. So he's playing the same last notes, last two notes that he, you play in the bar before, and then he's dragging to the next you know chord diatonic to F minor that is gonna be this is the seventh fret of the fourth string, and this is the sixth fret of the third string, okay? Like that. Right? Again. And then the last bar of this part is gonna be this one. It starts with in the ninth ninth fret of the fourth string and then in the seventh fret of the third string, like that. Right? So and then he's playing uh, again double stops, but he's changing strings now. So he's playing in the seventh fret, in the third string, this one, and then same seventh fret. But that now the second string. All right, and then he's he's dragging everything a semitone below. So it's All right, again, and then to finish this bar, it's gonna be it's a bit fast. You know, he's he's descending diatonic in the same in the same um, same F minor scale like that. So everything together is gonna be like that. That's the last bar of this part, okay? I'm gonna play everything now, everything again, from the from the beginning. All right. This is the most challenging part of this riff because it includes what I call the Juanes sound. It's just basically really fast uh, legatos and pull off. So let's take a look at them. We can start playing a upstroke on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then downstroke on the second fret of the third string, and then upstroke on the sixth fret of the same string, and then downstroke on the same place, and then you can do you do a legato, right? From the sixth fret to the fourth fret on the third string, and then pull off from the fourth fret to the second fret of the same string, and then again upstroke on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Okay, this is how it sounds. So 
So, of, of course, this has to be played really fast. Okay, that's how it sounds. So that's that's the first part, really. Okay, the second part is um, is basically the same, but it's quite easier because you don't have to do this big stretch, right? Uh, and then that's how it sounds. All right, you can play with this with these fingers, or you can use your pinky if you want. So that's how that's how you you have to play it. Same same uh, pattern in the picking hand. But now you're gonna play in the sixth fret of the fourth string, right? And then in the fourth fret of the third string, and then in the seventh fret of the same string, and then again playing the same note, and then legato, and then pull off, and then playing upstroke again in the, four, in the sixth fret of the fourth string, okay? So that's how it sounds. So the two together, it's gonna be like that. Okay, so this is really fast. Let's gonna play a, a bit slowly. All right. So that's that's how how it should sound this part. Okay. Remember to practice this really slowly and then speed up like that. All right? And same thing with this part. Finally, the last four bars of this riff that they are not that difficult, okay? So, uh let's take a look at them. It's going to be like 6th fret of the 4th string, right? And then 4th fret on the 6th string, sorry, in the 3rd string, and then 6th fret of the same 3rd string, and then 7th fret of the same 3rd string, and then 6th fret again, and there is a fast pull off there from the 6th fret to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, okay? Like that. And then the next one is going to be you have to play the 7th fret of the 4th string and then 6th fret of the uh, same 4th string and then you have to move your position right your position of your hand with this finger with the um with the ring finger right you have to move your position to come back to this one okay like that Right. So again, slowly. And in this part, which is the fourth fret of the fourth string, right? So you have to play the fourth fret and then the second fret of the second string, and then the third fret. Sorry, second fret of the third string, and then the fourth fret of the fourth string again. But that's how it sounds. So you have to play fourth fret of fourth string, second fret of the second string, second fret of the third string, and then fourth fret of the fourth string, and then second fret of the third string, and the fourth fret of the fourth string again. How, that's how it sounds. In this part, you have to play a double stop again, like that. So, all right. When you play the the fourth fret of the fourth string, try to sound also try to make sound the the second the second fret of the third string like that. So it's All right? So that's how it sounds everything together. <laughs> 